really still very aggressive is uh, Steve Harmison. Oh, he's got him. Absolutely snorter. It's come back. And he's trying to avoid it, A.B. de Villiers, and uh, that'll shake him up. It grilled him in more ways than one. Oh, quick again. At that time, more directed on the leg stump. And de Villiers couldn't sway. That was intelligent bowling from Flintoff, but it just brings four leg buys to the toe. Well bowled by Flintoff. He's been pummeling the middle of the pitch against de Villiers. And then the old one pitched up like that, and de Villiers looks uncertain. Oh, that's a loose one from Palisar, and eagerly accepted by de Villiers there. Absolutely walloped that through the covers. That was far too short and wide from Panasar. No stopping that. It's been hit so hard by A.B. de Villiers. And it's his favourite area. Give him a chance to square cut. And rest assured, he'll take it. His opponent, and mainly he's won. Fabulous. A.B. de Villiers with power and panache. Oh, he didn't mean it there, but I think he's going to get four runs, is de Villiers. That shot off the sort of outside edge. It's not really doing it for Jimmy Anderson. There's no catching or stopping or whatever you want to say, saving that. For the first time now, South Africa go past uh, the 100 mark. And now de Villiers has had another piece of fortune. Few cricketers deserve it more than de Villiers. Been a really, really good performance from him today. He's gone to 50. He's the one South African batsman to have come to terms with this England attack and really fight them. Oh, he's given that something. <laughs> I think that tells you that the new ball will be taken. It is available at the end of this Panasar over. A.B. de Villiers just cashing in. He's really played excellently, as he's done throughout the summer. Uh, crash bang wallop from A.B. de Villiers. Poor ball from Monty Panesar, an expensive over. And uh, Kevin Peterson will now turn to the new ball. Oh, no second slip in. Can you believe it? Kevin Peterson has got everybody back on the fence for de Villiers. It's not a tactic that I like. Not seven down. If you've got an absolutely hopeless number 11 out there, fair enough. Good shot. He's always been a good square cutter and puller. Even when he used to open the innings for South Africa, and now he's moved down the order, he's an even better player. Oh, that's four. Beautiful leg glance. No, no, that's cleverly done by de Villiers. He's got all the shots, de Villiers, and plenty of resolve as well. Very, very hard guy to get out. He played a crucial little innings in that Edgbaston run chase in the second inning. Oh, shot. And that was a good shot because that was a fairly straight, well pitched at ball. And de Villiers so went inside out with that cleverly. Could have gone onside, but he deliberately tried to go inside out and pick the gap. The problem for Anderson is the ball isn't swinging. If it had swung a bit more, he might have hoped to get the edge and get a catch in the gully. Yeah! Oh, he's bowled in brilliant stuff by Panasar. Just having the presence of mind to keep on that line from over the wicket. And one a little bit one of turn there, deceiving de Villiers, and he's denied what probably would have been a deserved hundred. Well, you called it right. He had to get a little bit more aggressive with uh, just Nell and Antini to come. So he misses out on the 100. He's actually run straight past it. He's created the uh, opportunity for Monty, and Monty's gone through the door and taken it. That's a big wicket. De Villiers gone. Beautiful knock. 97. 3-1-3 for nine. 